Hello, the practitioner here, Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magi uh, magician, and parapsych researcher. I've been at this for quite a few years now. Uh, let me see. Last few videos, uh, as you probably will have guessed if you watch my line of videos since recently, has all been talking about uh, the debunk of has all been talking about the debunk of uh, telekinesis videos of one sort or another. The bulk of people have been banging the table, using loops, magnets, invisible thread, yada yada yada. It's getting a little bit annoying. Anywho, on to your video. Um, your video is actually one of the better ones I've seen. Um, I'm not entirely too sure it's an illusion. However, just to be safe, um, you know, again, yours, I might be willing, uh, yours, well, I took a look at a large chunk of stuff like uh, um, I read the comments on your video page to see if other people had spotted any possibilities. Uh, people kept suggesting that uh, that you know your your hands, your fingers had been touching it. I actually reviewed the tape twice just to be safe. Your fingers were definitely not touching it, so and we're not dealing with breath here either. So here's my suggestion, just to be on the safe side, because the thing is I did notice that the CD moved the exact same direction regardless of which way you had moved your hands. So here's my suspicion. I'd like you. Um, just for the next video, again, if, if this is real, um, the next time you do a take, I want you to use a CD, take one at random out of the case, but then I want you to walk and show, like, move the camera to show this. I want you to go through the door, I want you to close the door behind you with the CD in hand, and then I want you to walk all the way over to the far side of whatever hallway or room is behind that door, and then walk back and do that. And the reason I want you to, or actually no, better yet, do it in plain view. And the reason I want you to keep walking that way is just to make sure there is no invisible thread on it. The reason for this being is that if you walk a certain distance eventually, um, invisible thread is fairly fine. And if you have to have it tied to something or somebody else helping you move it, then uh, sooner or later, uh, eventually it will break. Now the other thing which uh, occurs to me, and that's the other reason I want you to do that, um, I also want you to do me a favor and, um, uh, again, I want you to wave by your legs this is the only other one I want you to do is to wave by your legs. This is just to make sure, um, you know, wave your hands over your legs through the glass table so we can see it. And, uh, and I want you to wave them wide over your legs. This is again to pro, uh, just to make sure the possibility is that you don't have invisible thread tied to the string, which is then working on, uh, which is then moving with your leg as you move your leg under the table. That's the other one I want to check on. Um, again, Magnus, uh, you're right. With CDs, they are non-magnetic, which means Magnus would not work uh, perfectly well. And even though strings aren't obvious, uh, invisible thread can still be used and people would not even spot it. So that's the thing. That's the reason I want you to wave your hands over your legs, um, take the CD with you, walk uh, to the far end of the hallway behind the door, um, you know, that exact same spot, again, just to make sure that uh, there's no invisible thread tied anywhere that, you know, could, you know, that you could end up breaking some point later. Uh, you know, again, just to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, to prevent, basically these are the techniques to prevent magician's thread. Um, after that, um, again, keep your hands in full view again, uh, like you just did. Um, I'm pretty sure we can. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure we can uh, uh, conclusively say, at least for this point, that it wasn't your hands. It wasn't your hands, static, breath, or magnets. Static would not be able to help you move a CD that size, um, at least to the best of my knowledge. Hang on. Sorry, just trying to remember now. The static, you can get static, but the best you'd ever get is a shock. Like you would never actually be able to move a CD with that. So my best suspicion is in Magician's Thread, just to be safe, take care of that. Um, other than that, I do have to admit your, yours is one of the better that I've seen. Um, if you do those extra controls though, again, uh, please do another video response to mine um, with those controls I suggested. Uh, just waving your hands uh, widely over your legs, um, taking the CD to the far end of the hallway outside the door, again, just to prevent, uh, prevent Magician's Thread and the like. Um, I've seen you move the camera, so I'm pretty sure you're working with a webcam here. Uh, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that that would deal with that. Um, and if there had been other crew in the room, uh, they're either being dead silent, uh, um, and you did show, which means that um, I'd actually have to... Oh, and also, can we also see uh, the area... Can we actually see a full 360 view of the room? Just to be safe, can we see a full 360 view of the room, please? Um, that's the other thing. Uh, just to... Uh, after uh, that's the 360 view of the room waving your hands widely over your legs just to make sure uh, and actually bring your legs back just to make sure that there is no magi uh, magician thread or what have you underneath uh, actually do that when you have the CD already placed on the table just this way we can make sure that as you move the CD doesn't move all already, already spontaneously or something like that um, yeah checking to make sure there's no assistance walking through the door to the far end of the hallway again to um, avoid magician's thread uh, as another technique to avoid magician's thread uh, you know the invisible thread um, 
I'm pretty sure loops wouldn't cover in this particular... Actually, yeah. Just to be safe as well, um, when you move it or what have you with the... Uh, actually, no, you're pushing it away in this particular case. So no, if loops were working, it would have to be from the... Yeah, okay. The 360 view should cover that. So yeah, 360 view with the webcam just to see the entire room, not just the uh, the side from side to side, but the uh, the front as well. Um, I want to see that. The um, waving your hands widely over your legs just to make sure that there's no magician thread attached to your legs, which is moving the CD. And walking the CD outside the hallway all the way to the far end of the hallway to make sure there's no magician's thread tied to the wall or anything like that. Or tied through, which you can later, um, like, you know, pull in one way, which as you're pushing with your hands, the CD moves the other or something like that. So, again, just covering those possible extras, um, that would be uh, the extra requirements that would satisfy me. Um, I know this is just asking a little much, but uh, being a magician myself, I'm aware that there are more ways than one to use Magician's Thread. Uh, loops is one, which again, you can roll up your sleeves and be able to misdirect from one. Uh, another one is having Magician's Thread tied somewhere else. I mean, like, you see, it's just being being a magician, I'm aware of a little bit more of possibilities for uh, cheating, and I'm not being totally skeptical of, uh, of what you're saying here. Um... I just want to make sure, uh, again, I'm not being entirely skeptical. I do have quite an open mind on this. It's just I want to make sure that, uh, that, again, this is just for skeptics, just to make sure that there is no um, cheating means whatsoever. You see what I mean? Like, I, I just want to be sure that you're the real thing and that I'm separating the real McCoy from the phonies. See what I mean? Um, now, that being aside, I want to also comment on a couple of comments you got on your video. Uh, somebody said, you know, there's no uh, demonstration of telekinesis which stands up to skeptical investigation. Why not go for the James Randi $1 million prize? Uh, again, um, to the guy who wrote that, uh, if you're watching this video, I've already expressed on my other videos, um, good point on debunking, but, I, uh, but what would be a better idea would be to debunk how he's doing it, um, like I did in this vid or something like that, uh, you know, debunk how he did it as opposed to just, uh, as opposed to just simply, uh, you know, saying go to the $1 million challenge. It's a quick... It's one of the, uh, I've, again, I've expressed in other videos, the uh, three most major problems facing the $1 million challenge right now. Um, at present, it could, and also given the fact that it's only a one-time demonstration, it cannot construe scientific proof of telekinesis. Uh, you know, just giving a quip saying like, oh, you've got scientific evidence, just go get the $1 million challenge or what have you. It's a quip, it's a, la it's a, uh, it's a last minute defense quip, and it's a, uh, it's not necessarily the best one. What I would recommend is take it to, um, is after taking it, is recommend taking it to the $1 million challenge and then taking it to every other single skeptical organization. This way, the more times you get it replicated for every single one, the better chance that you actually have a proof. Um, but again, I've already covered this whole issue before, the $1 million challenge, and actually quite a few of the other skeptical organizations are facing similar, cons uh, similar problems in their uh, experimental designs. Uh, again, the three problems are lack of peer review, uh, lack of dealing with experimenter bias properly, and um, the issue of, uh, oh, what was it now? Oh yes, the fact that it's only a single time demonstration is not necessarily replicable for when it comes to prizes or challenges. Uh, again, I've already covered all these three before. Um, I've covered them in great detail in my other videos, including providing sources for that, so just go watch my other videos. Don't necessarily, com and don't comment here on that until you've actually gone and watched those videos, then comment on it. Anyway, uh, based on those, by the way, I am a skeptic myself. Um, you know, I just, uh, again, to, to the skeptics who are commenting on this, I'm a skeptic in general. Um, the only reason I'm commenting on this is because of the fact that I think that we need to tighten our own arguments. I've already expressed this before. Go watch my other videos. And as for the guy who did the telekinesis video, follow the controls I've already mentioned, and then I'll believe you. Uh, until then, keep up the, uh, until then, toodles.